If we don't stop to marvel at the life around us, we're inclined to take it for granted, don't you think? Nigerians are probably one of the wonders of the world. The other day I was listening to the radio, it was a call-in show, and almost every other caller had traveled around the world and had extensive experience of life outside our borders. At the same time, I looked through the window and there was nothing to see but cars, cars, and more cars amidst the usual jam of traffic. Different models of cars, Jeeps, the latest model, salons too. This in a country where over 46% of its population of just under 200 million live on less than $2 a day. This equates to approximately 100 million people living below the poverty line. It was then that it hit me. Nigerians must be the most amazing people in the world. We're the perpetual die-hard hustlers. One of the most populous countries in the world with over 500 indigenous languages spoken across the country, rich in natural minerals, vegetation, oil, and of course, human resource. We're globetrotters. Nigerians inhabit almost every country in the world. Nigerians will still ask you, how was your night, with a smile, even when they can't vouch for what the day holds. They will respond, to, they will respond with, it is well, or God is good, almost by reflex amidst the most oppressive conditions. Nigerians are indeed deserving of accolades. To name a few, a Nigerian surgeon, Dr. Oluyinka Olutoye, was appointed surgeon in chief at the United States Hospital. He was part of the team who performed a surgery on the baby in utero in 2016. Do make time to read about the Imafidon family from Edo State who have been tagged Britain's brainiest family. Nigerians are one of the most creative people in the world, making advances in literary arts, music, the movie, and fashion industry. Producing a Nobel laureate, Wale Shoenka, and others in the making. That we have artists like Yemi Alade, Dibanj, De Davido, Tiwa Savage, and the likes winning international awards is an open secret. After all, these artists have been spawned from a rich musical heritage. We're talking King Sonia Ade, Fela Nicolapo Kuti, Victor Waifu, the list stretches on. Our visual artists aren't left behind in putting us on the map. Njideka Kunyili, daughter of Dora Kunyili, set a record when her painting, Bush Babies, was auctioned at $3.4 million in a Los Angeles auction house. We celebrated 59 years of independence amidst indicators that would make many a heart stop, and yet our hearts are still pumping. We live on the brink, yet we're constantly on the lookout for a breakthrough. Every week, at least, I come across Nigerians who inspire me and make me proud. I am a Nigerian, and I'm proud. We are an indomitable people indeed. I want to dedicate this advocacy to the resilience of the human breed called Nigerians. Probably, no, undoubtedly one of the wonders of the world. Yeah. I'm, ready, I'm ready to yeah. be taken on. Yeah, we're, we're, we're so many. We're so many that um, the suicide, um, uh, the heavy numbers of suicide, we are not, um, I didn't notice yeah. because we're too many. Yeah, no matter how so, we go, we, boy. so there are problems, mm. definitely, definitely, if we're going to have high suicide rates mm. and high levels of uh, mental health and, uh, and then what you've just described. Yeah, the one resilient. So, really resilient. <laughs> well, you know. I, I would definitely agree with you. Nigerians do make me wonder, okay, um, <laughs> and, 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 not, and not necessarily for the right reasons. Okay. You know, I do wonder when, where our breaking point is. Mm -hmm. I do wonder why we're so quick to accept any rubbish that is thrown at us with very little protesting going on. I do wonder how we wake up in the morning and, uh, like you said, we're still optimistic, even when everything looks doom, gloom, and bleak, and whatever. That is what I wonder about. I'm not sure it is a good thing that we are the way we are, because I feel that because we are the way we are, because we're, we're always looking for solutions to solve our own immediate problems, not Nigeria's problem as a whole, I feel that we're not going to get anywhere fast. Um, I, I love being a Nigerian because we're optimistic, we're vibrant, um, you know, we're hospitable. Those are the reasons I love being a Nigerian. But in terms of, are we really doing well? No. The Nigerians that do well are the Nigerians that have left these shores. And it's because they have gone abroad. Like, for instance, the doctor you mentioned. Mm. 
Did he perform that surgery in Nigeria? No, he didn't. I was gonna he performed it yeah, abroad. abroad. Yeah. The, the brainiest family, sure they're in Britain, yeah, in right? Britain. They're not Nigeria. Nigeria's brainiest okay. family. So yeah. firstly, looking at it, a lot of the times Nigerians are excelling. They're excelling because they're excelling in better environments, environments that equip them, that allow them to excel. <laughs> Which is why I said every every week, I didn't want to be say every day mm. because it could be that. Oh, I, 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 I every week I meet Nigerians who are, who are performing yeah. and they're performing against the odds. No, but they, they are performing it, against it, the odds. Yeah. Yeah. Even yeah. in Nigeria, Nigeria, despite all the odds, there are Nigerians who are doing fantastically well. Yes, agreed. It was a Nigerian that stopped Ebola from. Oh, yes, yes. Was it Nigeria? Yes. It's yes. a Nigerian yeah. in this environment as well. And there are several instances, including some things that just bring smile to your face. Mm. I was working on Broad Street a couple of weeks ago, and this guy just kept following me. What do you want to buy? I have sheep, I have shirt, I have this. Hmm. I didn't know what to say. I said, I want to buy Calon. There wasn't anything like Calon. I don't even know what I said. He said, I have it. <laughs> <laughs> and I couldn't help but bust out laughing <laughs> that you have to what what is, what is, what is, what is, I'll go and find it. Yes. <laughs> and apparently, what will it do? It will take you to where there are more people who yes. probably would know what Calum is. He wants say, to give up on his hustle. He's not going to give up on you. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, come on, tell it. them. Yeah. You know, and that, that is, those are the kind of things that, that, that make me just love this country. Yeah. I, I had to pay for book in traffic one day using transfer. For the bookseller. Mm. <laughs> 500, 500 naira. Okay. I, I said, ah, I don't have cash. He said, I did accept transfer. <laughs> <laughs> and right inside the traffic water, there, I did transfer. Just, it's, yeah, but I think it's, it's, it's a so daring, sad. isn't it? It's so sad that we. You, you can see that we have great potential wow. in this country. Great potential. And all it takes is really to have the right conducive environment that would unleash Fantastic. this potential. So that's yeah. really I what agree. brings my heart. So, yeah. Yes, I see where you're that's coming from. That's why I call it a wonder, wonder, really, yeah. But it's also Such heartbreaking. A contradiction. It's not, yeah, it's, it's, it's heartbreaking it's, because look at it. Look at that guy that would have found Calon. I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted him to back up. Back yes. Up. yes. Uh, no, you would have to learn that in Nigeria. You tell him to back, back up. Even that, to find a way. Otherwise, you are giving him more room for. For, yeah, because be, be I mean, creative, some, someone, when I said, and I'm sure she'll watch this program and, and yeah. smile, when I said, oh, I'm proud, the person took me on, on, oh, you're proud, what are you proud about? There's nothing to be proud about being yeah. a Nigerian, no, 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 you know, so angry with me for using the expression proud because they felt I was patting Nigerian back and saying we've arrived. But I said, no, I'm looking at something intrinsic to being a Nigerian. We haven't yet come into our own, and I compared it to it. my children. They haven't arrived yet. They, there's so many things I could get annoyed with them about, but I see that intrinsic nature there, and it endears me to them, and I'm proud of them just the way they are, because I'm looking at, okay, with a little more nurturing, with a little more, this child will get to. So I'm not yeah. celebrating all the nonsense no, we're doing. Celebrating, I'm celebrating the being, the, the, because I feel that my, my identity, what, 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 yeah, and also for yeah. me, I'm a Nigerian, my DNA is tied up with this nation. Mm. So I'm proud of the fact that I have some kind of connection to Nigeria, please. I think that we need to celebrate the fact that despite the difficulties that yeah. we have explored today, many Nigerians are surviving. We talked about those who don't have resilience and we kind of linked it with mental illness, but actually many Nigerians are very, very resilient. They keep smiling mm -hmm. in the midst of all the difficulties. And I think that is to be celebrated. It should be celebrated, but like I said, it is also a problem for us. Yes, I, I get we your are point. Not, we are not fighting for our rights yeah. as a reason because we're smiling and, and just, you know, taking it taking all. It all. Yeah. Can, I, can I bring another element? I'm going to bring some psychology. That's probably part of our mental health <laughs> if you bring, padding. If you, if you look at the Maslow hierarchy of, um, yes. um, need. of need, you get what I mean? It is very difficult for people at the bottom of the ladder, so to speak, in terms of they're struggling to have a roof over their head and food on the table for them to be aspiring to these higher things. That, that hierarchy Absolutely. teaches us that basically your, your basic needs need to be met before you can aspire higher. Yeah. So where, as um, mm -hmm. Kenna pointed out, 100 million people live under the poverty line. Frankly speaking, it's people like us who in many respects are privileged who need to do the fighting yes. because those who don't who can't point. even afford three meals a day are not going to be fighting for these higher no, it's, things. It's a valid right. point because even Chuka talking about education on his advocacy was yeah. saying look you know why are people preoccupied with tribalistic yeah. you know yeah. triggers is because they can only just think instinctively and you, you haven't really given them the space to now digest and even when we're looking at our education system and how terrible it is mm -hmm. the conditions there are not conducive to research to 
thinking yeah. and developing your research. mind. Yeah. Come and see the environment they're coming research. out of. Yeah. I think when would that student stop and reflect and think, I can change the world, I can develop a breakthrough, mm. you know, solution? Mm. They the can't. The students are facing sex, 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 sex harassment. <laughs> I always say this on every show, and I'm going to say it again. It's a deliberate action by our the elite. Yeah. We'll call it neglect then. Yeah, a deliberate. No, I think it's a deliberate. Neglect is different action. from deliberate action. <laughs> I'm not sure I can get it's to deliberate. deliberate. Yeah. deliberate yeah. When you even look at our budgets, when you look at our budget, you will know that it's deliberate. They're not interested in education. They're not interested in healthcare. Yeah. They're interested in other things that don't yeah. impact. On us, yes. you know, the. the, the so because even, even he said the state level, a governor who sees all his people, the populace in his state, are not educated. That should pain him. No. That should become a, a mission for you him and say, these it people must be enlightened so they can make right choices. Because, like you said, they're preoccupied with yeah. feeding and, and just the basic things that, you know, people just take for granted in other yeah. Western climes. So, like, we can't expect them to. It's, we can't expect them no. to rise up, yeah. leave the selling of their akara yeah, yeah. and be on the streets. It's, they it, won't it's, eat that it's, it's more of a, of um, it's more of the way of doing things in the north than mm. in the south. So even if you try to cure it in the south for whatever it is, it's when you get to the north that you realize that this this dedicated action to stop certain people from rising and stay where mm. they are is. Severe. Yes. And that's part of what I was saying in my there, advocacy. That it's all in the all north, our interest to make sure the North, the north are educated. Is, yes, is a problem. Mm. They, they are a big problem. Mm. Um, well, mean, if you put it like that, it sounds like... No, 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 like, no, no, I have to put it like that. Right, I, because I, I, like in the North, they have a system where there's a person that is really wealthy mm. and he will now take care of everybody and so they go to him for mm. handouts. For mm. handouts. Mm. Okay, well, Only I mean, again, yeah. I'm, I'm glad for Lasha they make that point that we have a responsibility, those of us who are privileged enough to think things through. Well, we've lamented, lampooned, provoked, and even patted ourselves on the back. Now it's time to call it a wrap. Please keep your comments coming in on our social media platforms on Facebook, Plus TV Africa, hashtag the advocate ng or on twitter and instagram at plus tv africa hashtag the advocate ng don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel plus tv africa let's do it again next week same time same station till then it's bye from us bye bye welcome to the advocate a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. Mm. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, you can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics in Nigeria for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. no, really. It's disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware of it, the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a very, terrible. Very, very <laughs> terrible strategy. <laughs> because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria is becoming a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Yeah.